Hey everyone, welcome back to Daily Tuition. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create a greeting using JavaScript program. We will create a program which display a greeting message with the username. But we will first understand how to get AM and PM from the date object. So we will use date object to get hours and minutes. The date object has 24 hours format. So using this format, we will get AM and PM. Date object help us to get current time of the day, right? Now, on every Sunday, we will learn something new. On every Sunday, we will make something new with different languages, right? So before we start this video, make sure you press the subscribe button if you haven't done that and press the bell icon to get notified of my every new video. And if you find anything useful, then must like this video. So before we getting late, let's get started. So here first we have a main.js file and this is my console window, right? So in main.js file, we will first create an instance of the date object to get time, right? The date object will return date and time as well. So we will just create an instance here. So I will just say constant dt is equal to new date. Right and specify parentheses. Now using this instance, we will get hours. So to get hours, I will just say let hour. So we'll just create a variable hour and get hours using get hours method. So I will just say dt dot get hours. Right and specify parentheses. So this method will return current hour. Let me show you. Console dot log and say hour here right so the date object has 24 hour format so the 13 means it is 1 pm right now using the date instance we will get minutes so i will just select minutes is equal to dt dot get minutes right so using console.log I will show you the minutes right now after that I just wanted to return am and pm using the date object so we know that a date object has 24 hours of format using this format you can get am and pm you know that from 1 to 12 we specify am and from 12 to 24, we use prepend pm. To get this from the 24 hours of format, we have a beautiful condition. So let's see how to get am and pm. So I will just say let prepend. So this is my variable. And I will just say our and specify a condition here. I am using conditional operator here. So I will say hour is greater than equal to 12 and specify question mark here because we are using conditional operator so if the hour is greater than or equal to 12 we will return pm or we will return am All right i just wanted to show you what this condition return so I will just say console.log and say prepend. So you know that it is 1 pm right now. So this will return pm on the console. If you specify something different, so just say if the time is 5, then let's see what's happened. Right? This will return am. Right? Now you know that how to get am and pm. Now I just wanted to show you how to create a greeting. To specify the user so to first we need to create a user so i will just say let user and specify a username here i will just say daily here right this is my username now to create a greeting we need to use if and else condition using if and else condition we will create different greeting with different time period just like this so i will just use if else ladder here so i will just say if 
power is greater than equal to 12 and then specify logical and operator and then say our is less than or equal to 17 so it means we are checking ours is greater than 12 and our is less than or equal to 17 now here 17 is equal to 5 pm right so when this condition true we will return something on the console so i will just say console.log and here i will in the back tick i will say good afternoon and then specify my user name here right and execute this statement so on the console you will get good afternoon daily right because now it is 1 pm now i will just create one more condition here uh, so i will just say else if our is greater than or equal to 17 means 5 and our is less than or equal to 20 then i just wanted to print on the console good evening and specify my username here right so the evening is from 5 pm to 8 pm right and the afternoon is from 12 pm to 5 pm right now just after that we will create a greeting for night so i will just say here else if and in the condition i will say our is greater than equal to 20 and here i will specify logical or operator right and just after that i will say our is less than or equal to 6 so this time period is from 8 pm to 6 am right so in this time we will say console.log and say good night and specify my username using interpolation and in the else block i will just say console.log and you here i will say good morning right and specify my username so let me show you how this code work so here if i just create our and specify 12 suppose it is 12 pm right now then what would be the output the output would be good afternoon right because from 12 pm to 5 pm we will say good afternoon what if i specify here 18 so the 18 means 6 pm right so when you execute this you will get good evening on the console from the 5 to 8 pm we will say good evening to all the people and if i just here just say 21 so 21 means 9 pm so when it is 9 pm then 
we will say good night daily right now suppose it is 8 am right now then the output would be good morning right because on 8 am we will say good morning to the user now i just wanted to print time on the console so i will just say here console.log and print current time right and using interpolation i will just say hour and call my minutes and the last i will call my prepend variable right so on the console you will get good morning daily and this is your current time so i just wanted to remove this hour so this is my current time right now that's it using date object you can get and set date and time so using this example we had learned how to specify greeting to the user when the user visit your website that's it i hope you understand this lecture if you have any question then you can ask me in the comment section if you like this video then must press the like button don't forget to subscribe this channel and press the bell icon that is all for now we will see you in the next tutorial